Hey, Tim DeStazio here. It is Psychrometric Saturday, and we've been talking a lot about enthalpy. Enthalpy, of course, is heat, and there's two types of heat that we deal with. Sensible, which is removal of temperature in the room, and latent, which is the removal of moisture in the room. Now, last time we plotted two points, an entering and a leaving uh, temperature, and then we plotted our enthalpy lines. Of course, the enthalpy lines run parallel to our wet bulb lines. They extend past the saturation curve, and they cross this scale right here. So we have an entering and a leaving enthalpy. But the question is, how much of that entering and leaving enthalpy, that difference in enthalpy that our equipment is removing, how much of that is sensible versus latent? So out of this gap, this space between our entering and leaving enthalpy, we need to know how much of that is sensible and how much of that is latent. Well, last time we talked about that, we simply take our leaving dew point temperature, which in this case was 50. We just take that straight down. We maintain our same dry bulb temperature and we plot a new point here. And then we simply take our new line and we draw it parallel to the lines that we've been drawing, and now we have a line of demarcation between sensible and latent heat. The big gap right here is sensible, the little gap right here is latent. Now, if we need our system to dehumidify more, that means that we need to have a lower sensible heat factor. We need to have less sensible heat and more latent heat. So a system that dehumidifies better is going to look a little bit more like this. We're gonna have more latent removal, less sensible. Let's say we're in an arid climate without a lot of latent load and we need to do more temperature removal, then we're gonna be looking like this, a whole lot of sensible, very little latent. And that all has to do with how we set up our air conditioning unit. Typically when we slow our blower speed down, we do less sensible work and more latent. If we speed our blower speed up to 400 or 450 CFM per ton, then we're gonna do more sensible work and less latent. And so a lot has to do with how we set up our blower speeds. If you're in a humid climate, you do not wanna have a really high blower speed that's gonna give you a lot of sensible heat, but not a lot of latent. No, you wanna slow your blower speed down so that you do more latent work and less sensible heat work. And that is what sensible heat factor is. We're simply dividing our sensible heat into our total heat. We're gonna talk a lot about sensible heat factor and sensible heat ratio, which is similar, but has to do with our load instead of our capacity. We're gonna talk about that in a future episode, but for now, thanks for watching Psychrometric Saturday.